It was game, set, and match. Rublev. He defeats Dominic Team in a tough two-setter. It was a great match. Rublev played very well, as expected. Uh, but Team probably played a bit better than expected. He's an excellent week and should be very, very happy with how it's gone. But he couldn't get over the line in this one. So let's break down the reasons which led Rublev to the victory. My name is Henry Tui. Welcome to Post-Match Breakdowns and subscribe if you love tennis. I'm working really hard to keep producing the best tennis content I can. So subscribing would mean the world. But let's get into it and kind of start off with the firepower of both players because the weapons that these two have are unbelievable. They both play extremely aggressively and they do look to dictate, particularly with their forehands. But in the early portion of the match, it was Rublev who was executing much cleaner with much more consistency. The team was just giving a bit too much away and wasn't forcing Rublev to really earn the points. And Rublev broke for 3-1 after the team was 30 love up. He had a double fall and a handful of errors, um, but to Rublev's credit, a stunning forehand pass did end up breaking team. And it really emphasised how effective Rublev was behind his forehand, because everything he seemed to touch on that wing just turned to gold. But I'd also like to credit Rublev's volleys, because he was very, very impressive at the net in this first set. He was incorporating net play behind his huge ground strokes, and by 5-2, was 5 of 6 at the net, and it was just really positive to see him being so proactive and trying to shorten points in the forecourt. Team did start to find some rhythm as he held for 3-5, as he hit four unreturned serves in a row. And as Rublev served for the set, he broke him. And Team really just came up with some, some real class, the best he'd played in the whole set. Uh, but Rublev was just playing far too passively. He didn't attack any of Team's short balls and was playing far too conservative. It, it just seemed that he got a bit too nervous. Um, but obviously he was not nervous after being broken. He was absolutely furious with himself as his anger really boiled to the surface. Um, but he did manage to kind of channel his frustration into his game. Uh, and he took it out really by absolutely punishing the ball. Um, team played a bit of a loose game. Didn't find the accuracy with his serve, which was a theme throughout the match. Uh, and he double faulted to give the set away. So Rublev took a hard fought first set, 6-4. But both did seem to settle themselves heading into the second set. Uh, they were both playing really, really well and not a lot was separating either man. Both had their knocks on the door, but it never opened for them. Uh, by 3-2, four out of the five games had gone to juice and the one that didn't was 40-30. So it was just extremely tight. Team was the first one to, to buck this trend as he held to love uh, for 3-3. And a positive sign for Team was that Rublev was making far more errors in this set compared to the first one because it just seemed that Team had keyed in his defence a bit more from the baseline and was actually making Rublev earn it, which he just could not do in the first set. But still, neither player, as I said, could find a breakthrough, and they're moving along quite happily uh, until Team served to stay in the match at 4-5. And Rublev came out like an absolute cannonball. He returned unbelievably well, um, and he generally in this match he did, but as I just mentioned, Team just wasn't finding the accuracy on his serve wasn't pushing team, uh, sorry, wasn't pushing Rublev around at all behind the serve. And it was just all in Rublev's strike zone. He was very, very comfortable throughout the entire match. Um, and also he played a little bit too much into Rublev's forehand, in my opinion. Um, but a few key mistakes from team took Rublev to 15-40, double match point. The team really clutched up here. He aced away the first and then delivered a thunderbolt down the line backhand to take it to juice. But on but it was really heartbreak for team as he double faulted to give Rublev a third chance at the match. Um, and generally in this contest, team double faulted at really, really unfortunate times. And unfortunately for team, there was no mistake on this match point from Rublev. A stunning forehand pass on the line sealed the deal and sealed his spot in the Gijon final. But overall, team put up a fantastic fight. And in the second set especially, there was almost nothing to, to separate the two of them. Um, but Rublev just found a way to get over the line. Rublev now leads the head-to-head -head four and two, and has actually won the last four meetings in a row. Um, and he's definitely a favourite heading into the final, but he will face either Arthur Rindanesh or Sebastian Korda. So best of luck to him, and congratulations to the team for an excellent week. He's still improving, he's playing very, very well. But that wraps up my analysis. A lot of work goes into these videos, so subscribing would mean the world. I've been Henry Tui, thanks for watching, and have a great one.